Passive Radar is a technology which operates without a known transmitter. For an air surveillance picture, we are employing foreign transmitters such as uh, uh, radio and television transmitters that are publicly available and we do not need to uh, include that in our own system. In addition to the fact that we don't need an own transmitter, we also have the advantage that the targets that we are looking for, the objects, do not have to communicate with us so they don't have to emit anything so the targets can be completely silent as well as we are. Our key technological features of TwinWiz Passive Radar are that, as I said earlier, we are exploiting other transmitters. Those transmitters, as I said before, can be radio, so that would be analog radio, uh, FM, or we are using uh, DAB, digital audio broadcast transmitters, or DVB-T2. This is uh, the digital video broadcasting uh, terrestrial. And um, all those uh, frequencies and bands we are using can be merged and fused together uh, at the same time, simultaneously. And up to about like 25 transmitters can be used at the same time. In addition to all those uh, transmitter sources we are using, we have to have a receiver which is capable of uh, simultaneously receive all those information. Um, to do that, we have developed within Hensold a 32-channel receiver with a very high dynamic range of more than 100 dB. So we are saying that our system is silent, so why is that? As I said earlier, we are using those foreign transmit resources, uh, the analog uh, radio, uh, digital TV, digital audio. This makes our system silent because we are using those foreign uh, transmitting sources and by that we are not detectable by anyone else using electromagnetic countermeasures. So our detection range is about like 250 kilometers uh, with a typical setup of TwinVis, which is actually already working this way when we only employ one sensor. Of course, you can also uh, interconnect uh, several sensors into a sensor cluster. Then you either spread the footprint of your coverage or you can improve the accuracy in one certain spot. Another capability of TwinWiz Passive Radar is the 3D capability. You only need uh, one sensor to already provide the operators a 3D information. So we have an accuracy in lat long of about 50 to 100 meters, but also in altitude there is some information which is a little less accurate, but you have an indication in what uh, altitude your target is flying. Uh, that accuracy is about uh, 500 to 1000 meters. Sometimes the question arises, what happens to TwinWiz passive radar if the transmitting resources are not efficient enough to operate it? Well, you have different choices. The first one would be to come up with uh, more than one sensor and you can put them around this transmitter. This gives you again enough coverage uh, to get your detection ranges that you want. Or you can also put those sensors uh, closer together to improve the accuracy for a given spot. Another important fact about our TwinWiz passive radar is that we do not have a turning antenna. It allows us to have a 360 degree 3D look into the whole airspace that's surrounding the uh, passive radar. So there's a lot of scenarios and application that TwinWiz passive radar is suited for. For example, since we are silent, uh, we are covering very well uh, the covert surveillance task uh, that might uh, be of interest for the military at borders. And of course, uh, since we are silent, we are also uh, very uh, difficult to jam. So wherever that is important, passive radar might be the right sensor. Another big advantage of TwinWiz passive radar is that due to the absence of electromagnetic energy that we are emitting, we can place our passive radar wherever we want to without any approvals or without any problems uh, with the authorities. When it comes to looking into the future of TwinWiz passive radar, then there is a variety of uh, things we are looking into. There of course is uh, in general the performance improvement, ranges, accuracy and so on. But also if you're looking to the world, uh, there's not always everywhere the same uh, transmit resources available. Uh, a second thing is of course when you're um, when you're having different customers with different needs of deploying the system, then you can do it either in a vehicle, as you see behind me, or you can put it into a container, etc. Also, very interesting for us are Navy uh, applications. Put the sensor on a ship, look to the coastline, and then there is an absolute new application born. Another thing we are looking into is air traffic management, air traffic control. So by using passive radar, you could free up some spectrum, which is now covered and used by uh, other radars, or you can even put uh, this passive radar as an affordable sensor wherever there is no sensor at all at the moment.